Okay, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show uh, the strategy on Mo entries. And um, the, the two videos I'm going to do one on a Mo entry, and then the difference between a Mo entry and the other strategy, number two, which is a, a breakout Mo. Okay, so the first thing uh, you can see when we load in the chart, okay, we're looking at the euro versus the dollar. And the first rule, okay, and before getting into rules, I cover uh, what's in the system. Uh, first of all, we have uh, several lines. If we click on the first line, which is the yellow line, you can see that we have a 21 exponential moving average applied to the close. And I have it um, in gold. Now, the second, I got a 55 exponential applied to the close, uh, larger blue. And then the red one uh, is an 89 exponential applied to the close. Okay, now uh, we also have three lines right here. We have, if you can see the, this first one, okay, it's a 233 exponential applied to the low. And then we have a 233 exponential applied to the median price. And then we have a 233 exponential applied to the high okay so we can see that we have uh, these four lines okay because uh, this is all the 233 which is the section okay uh, so this is a 233 exponential moving average we got an 89 we got a 55 and we have a 21 okay now rule number one for our strategy, okay. Uh, we also have in the bottom here a stochastics and a MACD, but we only use that for exits, uh, not for entries. And we'll do that in a future lesson. Now, uh, the first um, important thing on the strategy is this area right here. This 233 is what I call the home base, okay. Uh, which are the three lines, the two, the three 233 uh, moving averages. And the first rule of the strategy is we look for shorts or for down trades. Obviously, uh, if it would be in the stock market, it would be puts um, if we're below the 233, if the price is below 233. And we look for buy opportunities when the price is above the 233. So that's the first thing uh, that we look for. Now, the second rule is in order to open trades, uh, for example, let, let me go to um, and do a buy example first. And this is a trade uh, that just triggered. Okay. And for example, we're in a 15 minute, and this works in all time frames. Okay, so I'm looking at a 15-minute chart on the New Zealand dollar, and you can see how price is above the 233, which that's the first rule. Now the second rule is we need the 21 uh, moving average also above the 233. Okay, so in this case you can see how the 233 crossed over, and now we have both. We got price above the 233, and we got the 21. Uh, exponential moving average above the 233 which uh, is the yellow line now that's the rule number two now rule number three is I have to have in order for a buy I need the 21 to be above the 55 okay and then I need the 55 to be above the 89 so in this case, you can see how it meets uh, the order. The 21 is above the 55, and the 55 is above the 89. So this is uh, the correct order. Okay. Now, uh, the fourth rule is I need separation uh, between these lines. Okay, you can see how the 21 is separated from the 55, and the 55 is separated from the 89. Uh, that's the other rule on the strategy. Now, 
we also need on top of separation we need angle we, we want them pointing uh, upward okay so in this case we could see that they're pointing uh, upward now the following thing uh, that we need uh, and this is where we actually get our by entries okay uh, right here for example we saw that price broke uh, the 233 now we get what's what I call a MO M O E entry which is uh, the trigger for momentum entry whenever price pulls back to the 21 and touches it or gets below for example right there uh, and then we get a bullish close above so that's was your first small entry and you can see we had several more entries because they, they pulled touch the 21 and then we get a bull candle in the direction so whenever you get that uh, that's a buy opportunity and you place what I call an emergency stop loss and the reason we call it an emergency stop loss is because we are only going to use it in an emergency most of the time we're going to close out either in profit or in some other uh, situations we put it below all the moving averages so just a couple pips below the moving averages where if you get this crosshair here uh, you can just lower right there and you'll be able to see where's the price so for example you would put your stop around 8403 right there okay and you can see from this entry and we've had several entries and the price has moved uh, started to move uh, up right here you got it in on your first entry you're up 16 pips uh, in just a couple hours that's 160 uh, dollars and you can see how again it gave you another entry it touched the candle and then uh, started moving up here so that's a, a momentum buy um, let's look at more examples uh, here for example dollar Swiss I took several trades you could go to any time frame but I like the 15 and 30 minute time frames okay for short term trades and you can see in the dollar Swiss I had a trade this morning where it pulled back to the 21 touched it got below it and then my first bull candle that closed above was this one right here so that's my entry my stop my emergency stop loss is below all the moving averages and you can see how it met the criteria uh, price was above the 233 the 21 experiential moving average was also above the 233 we had the correct order the 21 55 and 89 okay so we had nice uh, correct order and um, we had separation and we had angle okay so that met all the criteria we got in right there and you can see how we caught a nice uh, run up here you can see just in a couple of hours uh, this thing went up 50 pips okay and uh, this was um, what 20 candles of 50 minutes so it's um, uh, four so it's about five hours of trading 50 pips uh, which is five hundred dollar move per lot uh, on this entry okay and for example right now okay you can see how it pulled under but we, we don't have a close above yet so we don't have an entry we had an entry right there um, you can see how when it pulled back touched and this was your bull candle again touched your bull candle and you had another uh, entry point here and you can see this works on anything uh, we had an oil uh, several trades um, several mo entries it pulled back touched the 21 bull candle and we were in the correct order we were above the 233 so we took this buy trade and then we had another buy trade there another buy trade there uh, you can see how she could have gotten in right here because it closed above and it netted a lot of pips today um, if you got in right here you can see it went up about 58 pips and then you had a short-term trade went up about 26 pips 
uh, and then if you re-enter it again, 41 pips. Um, so you can see that you catch these trends and it gives you multiple um, entry points. Uh, for example, let's go to the dollar yen right now. And I'm going to go to a 15 minute chart here. And I just had an entry on the dollar yen. Okay. And it took several trades today. Uh, you can see how this one got way below. We got a big spike move up, and then this was my bull candle for the entry, and we ran up, and again it touched bull candle. You could have had an entry right there, touched uh, bull candle. You had an entry, and the market ran up, you know, and then it pulled back under, and again it crossed the buff. So we just got in, and you can see how you you catch pips. Um, another 14 pips you're up right there another hundred and forty uh, dollars on this trade right here on the dollar yen okay now let's look at um, some examples of short entries and I caught several of them on the euro dollar today um, and let me just go to a five minute chart so I could show you okay let's right click and on properties and I'm gonna go to take the chart shift off so we can scroll back and I'm going to show you uh, Mo uh, momentum entries actually let's do it on any uh, chart right there uh, this one hasn't been too much in a down uh, trend so we can't really show good examples let's um, let me go to gold for example and you can see how this works on any time frame we'll do it on a daily uh, time frame and you can catch some big moves on a daily time frame now it's the opposite signal you can see when um, we're below the 20 the 233 we're only looking for uh, short trades to go short now uh, the same rules apply just inverse we need the 21 to be below the 55 and then we need the 55 to be below the 89 here okay now my entry comes when the market pulls back uh, you can see how it got above and then we need a bear close uh, and I always want the close to be a decision uh, candle like this one for example and that would be my entry right there because we got above the 21 decision we had separation they were in the right order they're pointing downward so we enter there, we place our stop loss, our emergency stop loss uh, above the ESL, which is the emergency stop loss above. And you can see how it pulled back. Again, it touched, and then this was the bear after it touched. So that was another uh, entry right there. And you can see how the market just uh, really came down from there. Uh, so if you get in right there, in two days, um, you're talking over 2,000 uh, pips right here. Uh, that was a big move in gold, and it triggered. It actually gave you a signal. Okay, so you're going to see the charts. You're going to be able to take plenty of these uh, trades and make uh, the pips. Now, one of the other exits, and the only exit I'm going to talk about in this video, is what we talked about. The, obviously, you could exit with the stop. Uh, but another exit is, for example, and that's why we hardly ever get to the stop loss because, and this only applies to Forex, it won't, it won't apply to the options, which I'll do in a, a future video. Now, when you, let's say we took this trade, okay, because we had the MO entry uh, right here. Uh, it touched, and this was the full first bullish candle above. It also touched, we could have gotten in right there. And let's say we took the trade, as long as it stays above the 21, okay, we don't panic. Now, when we get a full bearish candle below the 21, for example, this one was crossing it, so this one won't count, and this was a bullish. Now, this one was a full bear candle uh, below the 21. That's... Uh, an exit and that's like another emergency talk about like a stop loss exit so we take a small uh, loss on that okay uh, you'll learn in future videos that it gave us plenty of exit signs 
for example, uh, one of the things we're going to use is RSI before that. But let's say you didn't get out. This would be an emergency exit there. So, for example, if I'm in this trade right now, uh, my stop loss is below right here. But my emergency uh, exit here, it does the emergency stop loss is there. But if this comes and I get a bear close below the 21, I'll exit out with a small loss. And that's the success of this system that it only gives you small losses and you're never going to take a big loss and you're always going to get these big nice runs and you're going to get several trades and you're only going to be in the market when it starts trending. Okay, so these are the MO entries. Uh, in the next video I'm going to show the breakout MO uh, entries which are the two possible entry points.